Museum. During the 19th century, the town of Burton-on-Trent grew to becoming the largest brewing centre in the world. The problem is that it takes 10 pints of water to make one pint of beer. OK, well, the one pint of beer we've got sorted. We know what happens to that. Keeps us very happy. But the nine pints of waste, what happens to that? Well, unfortunately, it just got bunged into the river initially, and this caused a heck of a problem. By the time this nine pints had been used, it was very hot, very sulphur, it was quite polluted. And that's what it is. That was the reason to treat the effluent of the brewery, pump this four million gallons of nasty water 100 feet up in the air, two and a half miles down the road. And hey presto, they built the glorious Claymore's Victorian pumping station. That explains why the station was built. Now Roy picks up the story of what is here. There was a period of 20 years, a period of 20 years of neglect. The first time that I came here in the, uh, the mid-1980s, there was not a, a window in the building. They were all smashed. Uh, and glass was strewn all over the floor. And obviously the birds and the pigeons were all coming in here. And all the grot and the grime was removed. And you can see what was, to all intents and purposes, the original paintwork. Hours and hours of cleaning up and polishing these, these pump rods. This is the beam level. One of the things that actually saved this particular pumping station was this rather unique feature of the beams. They're, they're, they're box girder construction. Most beams were uh, cast iron, but these, they were made in this box girder manner. Uh, where the plates were just fabricated and then all riveted together. I always think this is the this is the really the business end of the engine because you can see in front of me the cylinders and the pistons, the gubbins, the bit that does the work really. As with the other stations we had seen, once running, the valves work automatically, controlling the supply of steam to the cylinders to keep the engines running.
Of course, none of this is going to work without steam. Hi, my name's Thomas, and today I, I work at the Clay Mills Victorian Pumping Station. We have five Lancashire boilers in the boiler house. We are currently working on the number four here, which is what we use as our steaming boiler. Um, we have the water gauges in the middle, pressure gauge up the top where we get our steam from. As you see, the lads are working on the boiler at the moment. Here we have the coal, um, it used to come in by railway wagon when the, it was working. When we were running nowadays, we used three tonnes of coal a day. When it was running originally, they would have used 80 to 100 tonnes a week. The boilers are John Thompson boilers built in Wolverhampton and they were bought in by um, a, a B6 Fowler Super Lion, um, which is still in preservation today. The Fowler crane engine was recovered and restored by Len Crane and is regularly seen in Wolverhampton and at steam rallies and events. Um, when it was running they would have used two boilers for steam and kept one warm in case of any emergency or a storm was coming or something needing more steam. Um, and then they would have swapped over every six weeks with the other two boilers that weren't in use. Steam engines were obviously built to do a job of work and this one was built to pump sewage and in this case a lot of sewage. Four million gallons a day was pumped by these four beam engines and below us we have the sewage pumping the pump, the actual pumping bit. So it's a quite simple ram pump. The beam engine right above us, remember the beam, the rods come right down from the beam the pistons and that push the beam up, the beam, this end, the pump rods are connected, pump pushes the pump rod down and the sewage goes shooting out round this bend and out off through the front of the building off to the sewage treatment farm. Like the other locations we have looked at, the great thing about all of them is that there is a great deal to see and explore. Come to the cafe to take a break in, you're assured of a good day out. 